I'm Gregory Dawson, sitting in for Clifford Baines, who is being fitted for a sarcophagus. The recession, which has left thousands of American homeowners destitute for the first time, may be giving rise to a new form of bigotry. Are traditionally poor Americans being unfairly prejudiced against the nouveau poor? Yes, and it's wrong. Men and women who've just become impoverished are encountering terrible animosity from the poor who've been sleeping in vacant lots their entire lives. They can't help the fact that they weren't born poor. Yes, poverty it's should disgusting. not be a club with locked doors. But it's hard not to sympathize with the old poor. Now, if your family has a tradition of going to a particular KFC dumpster for a night out on the town, and you get there and there's a bunch of nouveau lowlifes throwing their chicken bones on the ground, how do you Any react? Any vagrant with just a modicum of self-respect knows that that's just gonna bring rats to the dumpster. Oh, I'm that's sorry, exactly that just it. reeks of classism. No, I'm sorry, but what but makes are, America so special is that no matter how many advantages you were born with, you too might wind up sleeping underneath a highway overpass eating nothing but mustard and relish yeah, packets. You know what, being poor is more than just not having money. It's about having the right kind of attitude. It's a lifestyle. Frankly, some people just don't have it. It is true that uh, over the years, a small number of prominent families have worked very, very hard to control who is allowed into the poor man's club. Yes, like the Jenkins of Lower Delaware, who have yeah. been in the panhandling business for more than 300 years. They have had a member of their family in prison every year since David Jenkins first came over with the Dutch in yeah. 16 It's a legacy. It's a legacy. Uh, yeah. But the nouveau poor have no interest in learning the way that things are done. Now they, that is just a stereotype. You know, they, they just want to sit on the bus stop bench and and cry and shiver rather than just fading into the landscape like the more experienced poor know that to do. That doesn't justify discrimination. My brother lost his house last year, and since then, he and his whole family have endured horrible prejudice from other members of the lower oh, crust. Please, do we have to hear this again? You to told that. me that all the other poor kids laugh at him because he got his clothes at the Dollar General instead of picked out of the oh. garbage can Shameful. like the other kids. I'm sorry. They won't let him play poke the rat with Buying them. Buying clothes? Yes, exactly. It sounds like your brother isn't even really poor. Oh, what, just because? <laughs> My brother lives in a minivan and doesn't sleep in the bushes. Now that is snobbery. Sounds like mansion trash. Oh, excuse Are you me? She's making a point. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Keep it down. Oh, sorry, sorry, David. David. Sorry. Sorry. You know I'm down here. Please keep sorry. it down. Apologies for sleeping. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Situation. What's going wrong, Dad? Oh no, never mind, Sam. These people just making a lot of noise. Let's go back to sleep. Sorry. Here, David. let's get these cans out of here. But my point is that you can't separate the two classes. Uh -huh.